What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Ray, the host of the RHD Show. Thank you so much for tuning into today's broadcast. Today's broadcast is a best of show, meaning that I'm giving you highlighted moments of the RH3 show. So enjoy today's broadcast, and I'll come back at the end of the show to give you information on how you can get in contact with me. So sit back, relax, and relieve your mind, and enjoy today's broadcast. Hey, yo, where is, where is, where is crazy right here? Hey, yo, ask you crazy for this one. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Red, host of the RH3 Show. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. As you know, every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you guys, we are in for another jam-packed show today. As always, we've been giving you the Real Talk with Red discussion, talking about our biblical dating series, and we are going to do just that one today. So um, let's just sit back, relax, and release your mind it is the RST show hit it Are you looking for an experienced and passionate video production company that values your time and resources? Then look no further. 1301 Productions specializes in creative promotional concepts that promote your product, brand, or service. Our main goal is that we can help you reach your existing clients as well as potential clients successfully. Call today to set up your free estimate. 1301 Productions, creative concepts for creative clients. For more information about 1301 Productions, give them a call at 424-835-1301. K&B Improvement. No job too big or too small. Heaven knows we do it all. From carpet cleaning to house turnover, deep scrubbing and more. Carpet restoration, we give you what you ask for. Reliable, reasonable, prices you can't beat. Let us serve you in all your cleaning needs. For we are dependable and neat. Call 301 379 5939 Kevin Best www.kandbimprovement.com You are listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. Yeah, I just had to do something. I just had to do something uh for this little intro to see how it is or whatever and give y'all a little introduction. How y'all like that? You like that? Huh? You do? I do. But anyway, we might we might we might change up some things or whatever for uh, you know for the remainder of this year our season will end in july or august our season will end in july or august and then we'll premiere and come back on uh september so but we got we got excuse me <laughs> we got plenty of time to uh get ready and plenty of time until to that comes and so um yeah the only time i take off is whether i'm, I'm not feeling well or anything and so 
Y'all, I got to treat this show as such. Something, a you know, that God has given me. And, you know, something that I can keep on doing and on doing and on doing. And I'm going to try to squeeze out today, y'all. Speaking of the Real Talk with Red discussion, where we're talking about our biblical dating series. And this part is part six, which we got one more week. So this time next week, we'll be done. Done, 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 done. We'll be done. And, um... Uh, we today we're going to be talking about growing in intimacy. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, y'all, if y'all tuned in to broadcast the broadcast uh, last Tuesday or this week, the last broadcast, y'all know, I mean, here it was tough, but this is going to get even tougher. So let's just continue to ride, Clyde, and slide on down through it. And so, yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, growing in intimacy. And uh, from next week, we're going to be talking about hi to I do in a year. And then uh, this time next week on next Thursday, tips for engagement. Hey, maybe you need to help me out, you know. Do you have anybody read? I don't know. Do I have anybody? I hope I do. I hope I do. But hey, you know. I hope I do. Uh, y'all, I'm opening up this medicine bag because, y'all, my back, ooh, get up a shundy. God, help me. Help me. Heal me, Lord. But anyway, let's keep it moving, y'all. It is the RS3 Show right here on these platforms that y'all so, so graceful, graciously listen to me on my flagship station that has been, been a blessing to me since the beginning W Pop Radio. How can you get on W Pop Radio if you are listening to me on other platforms? Go to the RH3 show and click on Listen Live. And you can also, I am uh, syndicated, meaning that I am on other areas and other platforms. Tune in radio, you can listen through that. Um, I'm on podcast now. So, yes, y'all can listen to me on those platforms. Y'all, I thank y'all. God is so good. God is so good. I'm good, y'all. February has been a blessing to me in spite of my health situation. And so, continue to, to keep your boy in prayers. And continue to keep him because, y'all, I'm, I'm in cloud nine uh, right now. And, it, you know, it's just, whew, y'all. I just, I just, I just, God is so good. God, everything, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all this right now. Everything in my life, it has done a full circle, full circle. The things that I used to do, I don't do them no more. But the things that I wanted to do good or wanted, who I wanted to have, it's come back full circle and it's here, right? Boy, mm. I wanted to be a talk show host. I wanted to be in radio. What am I doing now? Radio. I also, speaking of that talk show hosting, y'all, if y'all knew me, y'all know I'm all, I always had paperwork with me. I carry a, 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 a messenger bag with me wherever you go. I have to keep paper with me. I have to have any kind of type of forms, paper writing, pens, pencils, calendar books, whatever. I have to have that stuff with me. And so growing up, I always, I had a thing. I had a business called RH and Associates. Y'all, that was a marketing firm and that was something that I thought of, uh, human resources or whatever. Why? When I started school two years ago, my intentions was going in there to do radio and going in there for, you know, um, getting advice, not really advice, but going in there, getting studies on radio, getting into radio, getting into, um, television or whatever. I say about a 60 to 80 percent of my classes was on public relations and that deals with marketing advertising um hr all of that but god look at y'all look at him lord y'all god is so good God is so good. So I don't know if I should take that marketing class since I can't take my other class. I don't know if I should um, uh, switch my. Um, uh, no, I'm gonna leave it like it is. But I'm gonna still take that human resources management class uh, in the, the last, the first part of summer. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, and it's somebody that I y'all. That's all I'm say. Slowly but surely. 
slowly but surely and you know hey all right anyway uh it's a great jam-packed show like i said i probably spent too much talking now but um um tune in uh coming up next uh is our girl nina taylor with this week in gospel news right here on the rs3 show and i may do some inside scoop with red news like i uh, had intended to do on thir- on tuesday but had a break or a uh uh you know had something to do right at the moment something that caught me i got i keep my cell phone beside me y'all and it's either on vibrate or sometimes it's on you know loud and open is on uh um uh loud and open and on um um you know the volume is up and so um a tuesday during my inside scoop of red broadcast during the live broadcast i got a notification that i need to you know take to stop what i was doing and, and make a phone call and you know call and do some whatever whatever but anyway i'm gonna try to finish those up today and then we're going to get into today's topic uh which is the biblical dating series part five i mean part six and it is entitled early stages of um no not that it is it is it is growing in intimacy keep it where you got it it is the rsd show and coming up next is our girl nina taylor with this week in gospel news keep it where you got it you are listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. Does your ministry, business, or organization need a new brand? Or maybe you're looking for a graphic artist to give your letterheads, publications, or your upcoming event flyer a little more pop and eye appeal? Then Integrity Media and Design is your one-stop shop. They offer many services that will suit your needs. Services such as media production and editing, graphic design, business identity, and much more. That's Integrity Media and Design. More information is available at integritymedia.weebly.com or on Facebook, Integrity Media and Design. Or you can also find them on Twitter at OfficialIMD7. Integrity Media and Design. Media and Design with integrity in mind. You are listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. I'm not a writer. Okay. Want the latest news regarding the TV, movies, sports, politics, and music industry? It is time for the Inside Scoop of the Red right here on the RH3 show. Happy Holidays, I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your Gospel News. After mentoring with Rev. Clay Evans, founder of Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church of Chicago, senior pastor, faith leader, songwriter, producer, and all-around entrepreneur, Rev. Charles Jenkins took over the reins of the Missions Choir, Fellowship Chicago. They released a blockbuster gospel album, entitled The Best of Both Worlds in 2012, led by the single Awesome, which entered the gospel singles charts at number one in 2012. Respecting the gospel tradition, but also working to update it by gently merging the 21st century urban recording techniques and trends, Charles Jenkins hit another sweet spot with his second album with Fellowship Chicago, Any Given Sunday, in 2014. This album topped the gospel charts once again, led by the release of his hit single, War. Although he worked as an actor and comedian for many years, it wasn't until 2005 when Jamie Foxx became hugely famous. In the 1990s, Foxx was primarily known as a stand-up comedian. He had an uncanny knack for mimicking almost anyone. He was also a regular on television, appearing on the comedy sketch program In Living Color and starring in his own self-titled top-rated sitcom from 1996 to 2001, The Jamie Foxx Show. Fox eventually branched off into film, appearing in a few low-budget films, 
But then his breakout came with Oliver Stone's Any Given Sunday. In 2005, Jamie Foxx made unlikely Hollywood history by becoming the first African-American performer to be nominated for two Academy Awards in the same year. He was in the running for Best Supporting Actor for his work in the suspense thriller Collateral. And he was also contender for Best Actor for his performance of Ray Charles in the movie Ray. The 37-year-old Jamie Foxx took home the Oscar for Best Actor, making him only the third African-American male to take home the Covenant Gold statue. Jamie Foxx was born December 13, 1967, born Eric Marlon Bishop in the small town of Terrell, Texas. He was raised by his grandmother and grandfather, Mark and Esther Talley. Esther Talley had a profound impact on her adopted son, Jamie Foxx often credits her for being his main inspiration. Jamie Foxx was raised a devoted Christian. The Tallies did not allow any non-religious music to be played in the house. However, she did insist that Jamie Foxx learn to play the piano. By the age of 13, he was making almost $300 a month playing piano at events around town. By the age of 14, he was a director and choir leader at Terrell's New Hope Baptist Church. Singer, composer, and arranger, Moret Brown Clark, Born and raised in Long Island, New York, began singing at the age of four. She took her first private piano lessons by the age of six, going on to perform exclusively with her family gospel group as well as with a series of high school and college vocal ensembles. After turning professional, Moret Brown Clark backed many gospel artists, including C.C. Winans and Hezekiah Walker. Her solo debut came in 1998 with the album How I Feel. After receiving a Dove nomination for the record, she took a break and worked on her second album. The results were the album By His Grace, which was released in 2002. Here's your blazing hot praise top 10 gospel songs. Number 10, Anthony Brown and Group Therapy with Blessings on Blessings. 9, Jermaine Dolly and Miranda Curtis with Pull Us Through. 8, Tasha Cobbs Leonard with You Know My Name. 7, J.J. Harrison and You Fool Praise with Miracle Worker. 6, Ja'Kalen Carr, I See Miracles. 5, Pastor Mike Jr. with Big. 4, Zacardi Cortez, You Don't Know. 3, John P. Key featuring Zacardi Cortez with I Made It Out. 2, Jonathan McReynolds, Make Room. And number one, now for nine weeks in a row, James Fortune featuring Deborah Carolina with I Am. Well, that's your Blazing Hot Praise Top 10 Songs and your Gospel News. I'm Nina Taylor reminding you to connect with me on all social media and write me at the Gospel News with Nina at gmail.com. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. You are listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. Okie dokie, pokey. <laughs> it is time for the Inside Scoop with Red, and this is where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news. You all, um, these are the few uh, brief uh, news reports that I have for you. I'm going to give them to you on. Um, on ye- on Tuesday, but let's go ahead and get started because I got to get into my uh, topic called discussion today, the uh, Real Talk with Red discussion that we're talking about growing in intimacy, and that's in the biblical dating series. But Taraji P. Henson, you are issues a issues a statement on sexual harassment allegations against manager Vincent Siri Siri Vincent Siri. I'm just calling him Vincent Siri. I don't even know. Um, or how to pronounce his uh, name or whatever. But um, unfortunately, him and her and Halle Berry have the same manager or did have the same manager. But uh, Taraji says that she feels saddened, disappointed, and ashamed. But following uh, Halle Berry's lead, who I'm going to talk about in a few minutes, Taraji P. Henson took to Instagram to issue a statement uh, condemning her manager, Vincent Siren. Sir Sion, uh, after nine women accused him of sexual harassment, and here's what she said: the news about my manager, uh, let's just say Vincent, um, was shocked, hurt, 
um, has shocked, hurt, and offended, and yet put professional women in a position to not to trust men who they work with. Everyone knows how difficult this industry has been for women, uh, uh, and my hopes is that all of these uh, unspeakable events ignite true change in the treatment of women in this in- entertainment business. True art can only come can only be treated in inter- in environment. A vulnerability and trust capitalized. If you continue to de, uh, decimate the trust, you lose the art, the, be- the beauty of the art. I feel saddened, disappointed, and ashamed. We deserve better. This must stop. And uh, speaking about Vincent, um, let's hear what uh, if Halle Berry had anything to say in regards to this. Um, let's see here. Uh, she said, uh, the news literally stopped me in my tracks. I immediately confronted Vince about it and he denied it completely. But even with his denial, something didn't feel right in my spirit. And with the possibility that it could be true, I, uh, immediately ended our, our over 25 year relationship. She said in a statement to Washington Post. She also said that Vince, uh, has called, she called him, uh, never made an appropriate gesture towards her and never, um, her of his behavior but she has no uh, a no tolerance policy and she took a uh, to Instagram to issue a statement saying again uh, yesterday I was saddened by um uh, 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 allegations uh, against her former manager Vince but today I'm sick of reading the horrifying details accounts of abuse towards nine women I'm livid he used me the role model that he helped me become to lure manipulate in innocent vulnerable women of color for his um, um, predatory actions I'm deeply hurt and I want these women and other countless to know i see you i hear you uh you matter and i will fight for you so this stuff is continuing to go on in hollywood and i do foresee allegedly that this stuff is going to continue on prayerfully that it don't but you know we got some sick people out here that's doing these that is prying on these women and young girls and young men and men and you know just you know continue to keep them in your prayer so allegedly that happened so um let's shift gears for a minute um uh for you know some you know former temptations lead singer dennis edward um was uh found dead on uh let's see he passed away y'all we um during our hiatus of um you know me not feeling well on the first of february he passed away he was 74 so keep his uh family uh in your prayers and whatnot but you know some good here octavia octavia spencer y'all who was on um who what 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 was that movie she was in um uh oh my gosh i forgot the name of that movie it was about the um uh hidden figures yes she is bringing a little uh bit of wakanda to mississippi the actress plans to host a free uh screening for underdeserved children and she writes uh this was two weeks ago i think i will buy out a theater in an undeserved community there to ensure that all our brown children can see themselves as a superhero she captioned an ad from the movie on instagram i will let you know where and when mississippi please stay tuned kings and queens will rise black panther movie so shout outs and congratulations to octavia spencer for doing those kind gestures for those children in uh mississippi one more uh inside scoop with the red news i have and then we're going to continue on with today's real talk with the red discussion uh aretha franklin handpicked jennifer hudson to star in uh the queen of soul biopic uh clive davis dropped some exclusive information about the upcoming aretha franklin biopic Biopic in his pre uh, annual pre Grammy celebration on Saturday night, Jennifer Hudson has been chosen by the legendary Aretha Franklin herself to play her in an upcoming biopic. Uh, Davis uh, tonight uh, introduced Oscar and Grammy winner Jennifer Hudson to sing a couple of songs, and then told the audience that Hudson will be playing Aretha Franklin, Aretha Franklin in an upcoming biopic about the life of the Queen of Soul. Mike Fleming wrote in a Deadline report, Hudson was hand was in fact handpicked by Franklin to play, play the role. And not too much information has come about on that, but keep it 
where you got it and to the RS3 show inside scoop is red when I will announce and update you all on this biopic that is coming soon whether it be big screen small screen whatever screen your screen but right here coming up next is the real talk with red discussion that I'll have for you speaking on and continuing part six of the biblical dating series where we'll be talking about growing in intimacy keep it where you got it I'll be back in a moment You are listening to a best of broadcast of the RH3 show. Hi, I'm Rufus, host of the RH3 show. I've been the host of this great platform for an entire decade. During this decade, I've been blessed to join the platform of radio and podcasting. As I continue to work my gift, I realize that it has been you, my day one family, and also my co-host family, who I call my radio broadcast listeners, who have gotten me to this point. Out of the many years of being in broadcasting as well as journalism, for the each level that I reach, and as I continue to climb the ladder of success, it only serves me right to give you better content and also better quality of material. And by doing that, you know it costs. It costs. We're looking forward to getting new and up-to-date audio equipment, video equipment to revamp the RS3 show content on YouTube, attend award shows, and etc. So if the RS3 show have been a blessing to you, which it shows, and we know that you have been a blessing to us, which it shows, please consider sponsorship. I pray that God touches your heart and give you the nod to sow a seed into this broadcast. Even if you haven't listened to the broadcast before and feel led to be a blessing, I thank you in advance. If you will, please begin by sowing a financial seed of any amount. How you can do this, you can visit my website at thearch3show.com and click on sponsorship. Whatever you sow, I pray that God will richly bless you and it all come back to you 100 fold. This show has been a blessing to me and has been a release for me. I love what I do, you guys. I love what I do. And as I say on every broadcast, every YouTube video, or whatever I do, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh at every moment, and to love God, to love yourself, and to love other people beyond words. Again, for more about me or the broadcast, and also to become a sponsor and to give financially, you can visit my website at thersweetshow.com. I just told it's you that's how I up. felt. If that's how I so you felt. Say, if I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I well, you said, implied that. I said what I said. That's you don't like it, it. You don't like it. Yeah, she just said that's what I said. I mean. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, it is time for the Real Talk with the Red discussion. And this is where me and you just sit down and uh, relax and relieve our mind. And then just enjoy each other with a real talk and a um, grown folks discussion. And so that's what I planned on doing with you all on today. And, you know... I love it. This is one of my best uh, segments that I do here on the RH3 show, y'all. And by the way, not only the RH3 show um, radio and not only the Real Talk with Red discussion, but this whole thing is just therapeutic for me. Therapeutic for me, and I just I just love it, y'all. I love it. Um, I love it. I just... I just it's just like I'm just sitting here talking and chatting with my friends and, you know, conversing with you all. I have some people saying, look, hey, I don't listen to the whole broadcast because sometimes I'm, you know, doing what I'm doing and having fun and, um, you know, whatever. And, or it's at a time to where I'm getting off of work and whatever and whatever. And, or um, what else do they say? Somebody told me just the other day, well, let me tell you something. Sometimes I tune into your broadcast. Sometimes I don't. But whenever I do... It, it, it's just so um, entertaining, and you know, I just thank y'all for that. And family say that they listen, they do whatever. But hey, you know, it is what it is. 
people. But I thank y'all for listening and those that you know that really don't that agree and don't agree. But um, yeah. But I uh, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it coming, keep it coming. I, I love you all. I love you all for real. But uh, like I was saying, it is the inside scoop of the red, and it is where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on real life topics, grown folks discussions. And so, you guys, what we're going to be talking about, like I said, been talking and mentioning uh, for the past few weeks and on today's broadcast. We're going to be going back into the biblical dating series. And today is part six. And we're talking about growing in intimacy. But, um... Last broadcast, y'all, uh, navigating in the early stages of a relationship, you know, it, it sought to apply some of the principles we've been talking about in this series to the early stages of the dating relationship. We, you know, we talked about how to establish intentions, early stages, appropriate co- topics and conversations, types of dates, the level of emotional investment, the idea of all of that was not to establish an emotional or certainly physical intimacy that would imply marriage defrauding one another and uh, result in a de facto emotional divorce if things don't work out. But our goal in dating as Christians is to save marital uh, levels of intentions for marriage itself to care well for the person's soul to be different from the world and a soul to bring glory to God but y'all this time I want to apply some of the same principles that we've been thinking and talking about to relationship that moves beyond the early stages and when it gets serious um, the essential line to walk here is to get to know one another get to know one another better so that we can become and make responsible informed decisions about marriage but without acting married in the process and without violating uh the first uh thessalonians admonition to not defraud and mistreat one another but let's look at this stage y'all um um growing in intimacy uh, and how it might play out by considering some of the same issues we looked at earlier in in the earlier stages. Um, yeah. But y'all going deeper, y'all. Clarity and clarity and intention should be established when things uh, move from testing the waters to yeah, the water's fine. And and I think I'm in the testing and water stages. Prayerfully, I hope I am. Hope we on the same page. But um, don't assume that you because you agreed to start dating or according presumably with the intentions determine whether marriage is the right thing because dating and courting are two different things. Please, please, please know that for a fact, though, um, is that they are two different things. But uh, uh, like I was saying, uh, uh, don't assume that because you agreed to start dating or courting, courting, presumably the intentions to determine whether marriage was the right thing. You know, you or your partner will just know when things begin to progress. But in the design of a relationship that we have, we we are carving out here, caring well for one another means we can't place too high a premium on being clear. Guys, again, the brunt of the work falls to where to you here. If you've gone through the early stages of the relationship and truly feel before God to whom you will give account for your decisions, that you should begin to get more intimately involved with this woman because you think marriage to her is a good possibility, you will have to tell her. You will have to tell her. I've said it, fellas, speak. Speak. Tell her that you you have loved to getting to know her and that you find her a godly woman, that you are interested in pursuing more serious relationship with her for a in for a f- infinite time period. Um basically to see that there are any clear obstacles in terms of beliefs or affections or goals or personalities um to the two of you, you know, getting married. Finally, you should tell her that if the, if she does not find herself in the same place in the terms of feeling about the relationship or if it becomes certain at any point moving forward that she is not interested in marriage to you, that she should break up with you immediately or let me know what I need to do to get, you know, if there anything in my um, uh, way that you see that I need to work on that who you need 
So just because someone denies a uh, a um a proposal, just because someone says, you know, no, I'm not gonna marry you, or no, I don't want to be, you know, do this, that, and the third, or no, I don't want to, um, um, you know. Uh, uh, you know, go out with you or whatever, this, that, and the third, or no, I don't want to, um, be your fiance, or can we, you know, hold off on the marriage? Don't just go off on that. If you are a, and this is, you know, my opinion, real talk with a red discussion where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on real life topics and grown folks discussion. If you are, um, a real man, you may say, hey, you know, it may hurt. Well, not it may hurt. It is going to hurt. It's going to hurt your ego. And, you know, I, me and a few other fellas have talked about this. It will and it is going to hurt your ego when someone, when she um, denies your proposal. It's going to hurt it. It's going to sting. And so what, you know, you need to come back. And if she is at a point or if she tells you, I don't want to, you know, whatever. I don't see us in that way hold on you know just say okay i'm not i don't want to uh force it i really don't want to force it but is there anything that i need to work on or you know what is it and she may be saying okay it's me then okay should i give you time or do you want out make you know just please and i think i've talked about this before please do not end it on a sour note don't because maybe something that she's going through that she's not ready for it and she might say well you know it's not you it is me and y'all know that's cliche please tell please please believe that that's cliche please believe that 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 it's cliche that it's not you it's me but it might not be you it may be her and ladies it might not be him it may be you or vice you know what i'm saying y'all get what i'm saying but you know don't let that be the last say so no i know what god you know hey i'm gonna just continue to pray and then hey lord if this is not where you want me to go and also before i say that Make sure whatever you do, even in relationships, God be the center focus of it. And if so, you won't be distrayed and you won't even get to this point. So right here is I can just stop it and keep on moving. Keep on saying. But if you get to that point, like I'm saying, don't, you know, don't let that be the last bit. But y'all be clear, be honest, be deliberate. Is it scary? Like I said, yes, it is. It will feel a little forced or awkward. Maybe being deliberate and clear about where the relationship uh, is needed um, is need not to suck all the fun out. Spont- uh, spontaneity and feeling out of the whole affair. But in fact, many women will will uh, tell you that you know they deeply appreciate such clarity. They want to be clear. But let me also um, reiterate that uh, it's like asking someone to date initially. This conversation is not a proposal and neither the person is committing to marry the um, other at this point. It's just a marker to say things are going well. And as far as, you know, you're concerned, the game is changing. If done well, it will surely put out, put both of you, you know, at ease from going forward, you know. And y'all, again, this this information is coming from a place that I study on, and that's boundless.org. So if you want to, you know, more information in, in the, the notes or whatever, go to boundless.org and, and, and search it. All right? Y'all, candle the time. Obviously, as your relationship progresses, the two of you will probably spend more time together than in the early stage, and more of that time will be spent alone together. That's okay to a point, as you will need to have some more serious discussion about major major issues with that said it is still dangerous to spend time uh together alone in a private setting this area yes it will but again be careful um now you will have to even try to spend more time together but i wouldn't let it be you know during the night because you're gonna get the urge trust just trust and believe by faith y'all know i y'all <laughs> oh anyway but look it, it it is a time to where 
you're gonna have to think about okay you know weekend okay we're gonna have to go and spend time you know with families and do and i call it a relationship tour either go spend time with families go see vacation together you know even during this time if it's okay to bring somebody bring them if it's okay to bring them bring them and say hey me and me and you know such and such is going on uh on a vacation want to go with us and then you know hey you and your homeboy share rooms and then your your fiance girlfriend or whatever and her you know in his and your homeboy's f- f- girl room together and hey do that do that but also i will say this let it not be no married couple it could be and if the married couple is agreeing okay hey it's okay you know we're going on a vacation um uh weekends part for just a couple days and you know whatever and while y'all out doing your thing we're not gonna be all up each other and if we you know need to do the hanky panky or you know uh roll around in the in the in the bed while we're on vacation while y'all out there hanging out and doing whatever then you know um we're gonna do that and so because they're married they can do that and i will say that you know hey if you go out fellas and women if you go out or hang out you and your you know if your boyfriend or girlfriend go out with um a married couple or go on vacation whatever and if they you know part ways from you all during the day and go do their thing let them do their thing they can do they they have license to do that and they, they, probably that's probably why y'all together is for them to you know to to you know show y'all how married life is and or you know court you all or guide you all be all you know marital guidance or whatever and say okay do you know do it have fun but anyway <clears throat> getting back to you know spending you know you know time together just be careful be careful but um you know like i said that is it's still dangerous to spend time together alone in a private setting temptation in this area is easily underestimated and it is very very difficult to regain discipline and backtrack once you have sinned physically uh, i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna take a break but spend time in public remember those long candlelight dinners in restaurants i suggested were uh, unadvisable in the early stages of a relationship they can actually be good here Especially when you are trying to, you know, compare the long nights of chatting on the couch of one another in your apartment. Even at this stage in the relationship, there's still no reason or need for you two to be alone in your apartment together. For the sake of purity, be careful about how and where you spend time together. And I will go back and say what... um, you know, somebody had told me, you know, hey, I had to test the waters before I, you know, um, 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 married my significant other. And I'm glad that I did because it was good. Come on, seriously? I'm going to take a break on that and I'll be back. Keep it where you got it. It is the RS3 show. And if you're just not joining me, you are at the uh, middle of the Real Talk with Red discussion. Keep it where you got it. Be back in a moment. <laughs> You're listening to the RS3 show. You can visit my website at the RS3 show.com. Want a free subscription to be a part of our live listening audience? Download one of the major podcast platforms Google Podcasts, Google Play Music, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Radio Public, and more. And search the RS3 show and subscribe. You will get all new content as well as access to previously aired broadcasts to listen to, download, and to share to your contacts. We'd love for you to be a part of our family. 
Subscribe today. The RH3 Show every Tuesday and Thursday from 6p to 7p Eastern. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3Show.com. All right, you guys, we got about 15 minutes left of this broadcast, and I don't want to go over. So if you miss anything that I've been discussing, please tune in on Saturday. And I think this broadcast will come on. I'll let you all know uh, in a few minutes what time this broadcast will air um, on Saturday. I believe it's around 6, 7, or whatever. Um uh, I'll just let you know. I'll let you know. Okay? How about that? But anyway, let's keep on moving. We've been talking about the biblical dating series, and we end the growing in intimacy. But we ended up, um, you know, candling time and, you know, being careful what, you know, how we spend together. But now, what do we talk about? And getting to know one another more intimately, there will be some changes in uh, some of the topics that um, appropriate to discuss. You may, you know, at this point, uh, begin to get to know, you know, your potential partner more deeply, spiritual level. Uh, also share testimonies, tell more deeply about who you are, goals, hopes for your life's ministry, should the Lord tarry and give you many more years. But as I've uh, mentioned before, you know, you should discuss things that like important theological issues where comfortable going to church to make sure the two of you are basically on the same page and that's key that's big e y'all um um also you know things about family um you know uh um uh, you should find you know things about you know family situation um you know visions for and goals for your life vision and goals for your family as a unit um you know uh the the idea of of you know you know if it should be a good deal of you know, communality between your goals and visions, or if there should be a significant flexibility on the part of the woman who would one day be called to submit to her husband's headship um, with, you know, regard to career direction or the family. But things that will likely be difficult down the road if one of you feels so strongly, you know, to be called to protect to a particular life of ministry that the other would absolutely dread so you know whether it be you know man as the head of the family and you know if you're going into ministry or whatever you're doing whatever everything that you should discuss it should be taught or should live for the rest of your life prayerfully that it should be your marriage should be for the rest of your life but it should be talked about around this time now you can discuss things like interest family emotional issues in uh you know greater detail if it looks like the things is headed towards marriage but be caution and always you know do it in order as you get more deeply involved so don't just start on it okay so this is what we're gonna do here for you know as a family this is what we're gonna do. hey you just engaged to her slow down more so let her take the lead but also steering guided fellas you get it but finally, keep in mind that it is it's still not, you know, advisable to have a long, intimate prayer, you know, times together at this stage, like I said before. But the situations obviously changed somewhat, but that is still too tempting and too intimate. Pray with the people. Pray with, you know, the people that are watching over you for your relationships, your pastor um, that, that is doing your counseling, friends um, that is, you know, leading, guiding you and directing you, married friends, elderly people at the church. Um, um, you know, be there. Pray for Let them pray for you and also be watchful of who praying over you. L- allow those who had, you know, full track record um in marriage to pray over you or to 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 counsel and guide you but the marital counsel should come from your pastor or her pastor um you know fellas it but they should be living a you know life and should know what they're speaking of and you know of course your head if you're still at your church of course who other to do that and so with me i would pro- <laughs> I would I would want no other than my pastor, Dr. Martha Starks of Word of Life Family Worship Center, to you know counsel me and to counsel my 
significant other to my, my girlfriend or whatever my fiance i want her to do that but y'all keep in mind that it's not like i said just 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 have those discussions but you know closing up um you know begin you know to talk about emotional intimacy and and you know know where that is going to go and also accountability and that's even more important as a relationship deepens that you know that you should all be held accountable about staying pure physically you know and all the emotional equivalent questions that comes along with it what are you doing where is this going what kind of um, time frame are we talking about before some clear actions are taken should be regular part of the conversations but so um, those are a few suggestions for handling a relationship as things progress and again these are practical suggestions uh, about the how to apply biblical principles that we've discussed before and it will certainly look different from relationships to relationship and that's okay and even and it's good even so but keep the underlying biblical principle in mind seek to live them out faithfully and the Lord will be glorified y'all I'll be coming back with uh, the rest of this broadcast we're going to close out coming up next we got about 10 more minutes free time Hey, party. <laughs> Keep it where you got it. It is the RS3 Show. For more about me or the broadcast, visit my website at the RS3 Show.com. Be back in a moment. If you're not tuning in to the Yards 3 Show Weekly, here's what you've missed. Number three, you think that she, she or he is too good to be true. Oh, this one is buying me flowers. I mean, what's really going on? Is he trying to hide something? No, just because it's Tuesday, I'm giving you these flowers. Not just because it's Mother Day, just because today is Tuesday, April the 25th, I'm giving you these flowers on my way home because I thought about you. And the reason why I didn't answer my phone when you called, so you won't overthink it, is because I was at work and I was in a busy meeting, knowing that you know that I do answer my phones periodically at work, but this time I was in a meeting, I could not answer my phone. Don't overthink everything and just think that it is a genuine reason that he's doing or she's doing such and such don't think that you know it's too good to be true come on y'all join me every tuesday and thursday from 6 to 7 p.m for more about the rh3 show visit my website at the rh3 show.com Want to connect with me and go beyond the broadcast? Do so by following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Arch 3 Show. You can also watch us on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. That's youtube.com forward slash I R E P A S A V I O R. Follow me on social media. Hi, it's The Arch 3 Show connect the rh3 show every tuesday and thursday from 6p to 7p eastern for more about the broadcast please visit the rh3show.com thank y'all so much for listening to the rh3 show know that i love you for real and i thank you all for joining me for another great broadcast again like i said for anything about me or the broadcast, visit my website at thersthreeshow.com. Know that I love you for real and always remember to live every day, laugh every moment, and love beyond words, hopefully and prayerfully by next week or by this time next week. I got a big announcement for you all. All right. I love you all. Uh, stay in touch. Visit me on my social media pages at The RS3 Show on Instagram, Twitter, and also Snapchat, The RS3 Show. I'm out of here. Peace party, people. Hi. I'll see you later. Know that I love you, Frill. I'm out. Peace. What he's done for me, so I can get up and raise him to a world redeemed show. That's from sin to the saint As winners we can't Live by the pictures they paint Because they know that all the inner is taint So we must live out our lives With a sense of restraint Which means do I live and we ain't We are controlled by the flesh We're depicted in sway 
It's right without a coolest complaint. The vegan name with a tongue down, your dinner at eight. Because the price that he paid for me gave to me my freedom. So I'm not a slave for me. Christ made a way for me. Grace we didn't pay for me. Your way back to God through the life that he gave for me. It made me gave with a switch. Our lives were in darkness. Then he came with a switch. So we don't walk like we used to. Talk like we used to. Call us for honor and he'll do it for you too. Yeah. And we gotta breathe it now. Praise the blood he called me to switch. Go ahead. Cause I know we gotta give it up. If anybody wanna come and bring the Lord. host of the RS3 show. I've been the host of this great platform for an entire decade. During this decade, I've been blessed to join the platform of radio and podcasting. As I continue to work my gift, I realize that it has been you, my day one family, and also my co-host family, who I call my radio broadcast listeners, who have gotten me to this point. Out of the many years of being in broadcasting as well as journalism, for the each level that I reach and as I continue to climb the ladder of success, it only serves me right to give you better content and also better quality of material. And by doing that, you know it costs. It costs. We're looking forward to getting new and up-to-date audio equipment, video equipment to revamp the RS3 show content on YouTube, attend award shows, and etc. So if the RS3 show have been a blessing to you, which it shows, and we know that you have been a blessing to us, which it shows, please consider sponsorship. I pray that God touches your heart and give you the nod to sow a seed into this broadcast. Even if you haven't listened to the broadcast before and feel led to be a blessing, I thank you in advance. If you will, please begin by sowing a financial seed of any amount. How you can do this, you can visit my website at thearts3show.com and click on sponsorship. Whatever you sow, I pray that God will richly bless you and it all come back to you 100 fold. This show has been a blessing to me and has been a release for me. I love what I do, you guys. I love what I do. And as I say on every broadcast, every YouTube video, or whatever I do, know that I love you for real. And always remember to live every day, laugh at every moment, and to love God, to love yourself, and to love other people beyond words. Again, for more about me or the broadcast, and also to become a sponsor and to give financially, you can visit my website at thersvshow.com. 